Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning to you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got this. Yeah, I think it's good evening, but if you want to say good morning. So that means <laughs> that means that you just woke up. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you woke up right now? You no, were no, sleeping. No, no. No, no, the thing is that I was very busy today because I have many things to do. So it was like a, I lose the, 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 the control of the time. <laughs> okay, sorry. okay. You know, instead of saying I lose the control of the time, there's something in English we can say and we can say lose track of time. So I lost track of time. Don't say I lose the control of the time, say I lost track of time, like this. Look like that. I lost track of time. Got it, okay. Teacher. Thank you. No, it's okay. No, 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 no. No, don't, don't apologize. Don't say I'm sorry. No, this is just something to help you. Okay, guys, cuando perdemos el tiempo, eh, decimos como, I don't remember what time it is, so I lose track of time. Como se me fue el tiempo, se me fue la onda. So I lost track of time. You're going to say that because that sounds a little bit more natural. Okay. So you were busy, okay, Adriana, but now you have a time to yeah. relax and learn, right? Yes, I see. I'm ready for my class. Excellent, perfect. So welcome everybody. Welcome to the ones that are punctual to the class. I really appreciate that. So thank you for your punctuality. Um, Adriana, Julio, Miguel, Jose, William, Heidi, Marcos, Milton Canjura. Okay, so thank you very much for being punctual. That is so very important. And <clears throat> Los salvadoreños somos conocidos por nuestra puntualidad, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's something that we're recognized for because we are really punctual. ¿Ya le han dicho eso a usted? Qué puntual venís, es que sos salvadoreño, le dice. Sí, somos salvadoreños. Siempre cinco minutos antes. <laughs> ¿No, Miguel? Yes, mi Adrián. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. That's how we are. Okay, perfect. Now let's start with the class. But before, obviously, we start with the class. Oh, today we're gonna do the review of the midterm. So I suppose everybody completed the midterm. Give me a reaction if you completed the midterm. So like reaction like this. Adriana completed the midterm. Miguel, William. Marcos. I okay. don't. I know. Oh, you didn't complete the meter? I don't know. Okay, why? I go to some year I report my motorcycle. Okay, where do you live? I live in Conchagua, La Unión. Oh, you live in Conchagua and you went to San Miguel? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's something I never ask you guys. What are you from? Okay, but anyways, uh, Jose, you want something to say? No? You don't want to say something? Okay, perfect. Not the chat. Okay, I thought you were raising your hand. So Marcos, actually, I am from Oriente as well. So... Yes, I am from Oriente. I am from West. Yeah, and I'm from, and, and I live here too. You live in West? Yeah. Where is that? Where is that? Um, I, live, I live in Usulutan. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not from, I'm not from San Salvador or any other place. You prefer the key is Luis Angel Firpo. Yeah. Compran la división a cada rato. Ustedes aquí, Firpo. Well, para alguna gente sí. Lo bueno que la acepta. Yeah, but yo no soy fanática. That's the thing. That's the thing. But si le preguntan a mí. For boy. 
Yeah, they have money to buy it. Milton, what do you say? It's a good it? comment that you, but uh, the better team is Alianza. The I, don't, I don't know about that because I don't, I don't watch soccer. Ya vamos a decir que esos temas no vamos a platicar porque se va a poner polémico. Ya vi varias caras. Así. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. William, you wanted to say something? I saw like you activate your microphone or not? No, no. Just I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What do you think about selected team? I have some problem about my era. I didn't hear about what is your answer. Can you repeat your question? He have, you... he, he have a problem with the internet connection. Oh, you have a problem with the internet, William? Yes. Okay. Yes, so I have some problem. Your, your company of internet is service is Tigo? <laughs> claro. Yeah, oh. claro is the worst. So claro is the worst. Yeah, don't, let's not talk about that. Yeah. Okay, William, just keep your camera off because sometimes that helps with the internet connection. And I will understand that you're having that problem because when you turn on your camera, you use a lot of internet and that can be a problem. Okay, anyhow, we're gonna start right now because we are going to do a review of the midterm and then we're gonna, well, we're gonna discuss some, some vocabulary that I have for you today. Then we're gonna talk about, we're gonna have a conversation, discussion time, and then we are going to do a review of the midterm. So I need to start right now, but before, it, if you have any questions, you can ask me now. One, two, three, no questions. Perfect, so let's start here. Um, let me go here. What am I, what am I, what am I? Here I am, okay. So now, oh no, before we start, I want to see if you already understood how to write the date in English. So please send to the chat the date we have today. Send to the chat and remember privately, send it to Inglés Corporativo. In the chat, choose send to Inglés Corporativo and write the date, what day is today. <clears throat> what is that question, teacher? Excuse me. In the chat, write the date. Okay. Uh -huh. Because the last time we did it, and we like some of you had some problems. So I'm trying to see if you fix those problems. So Adriana. It's good. It's correct. Good job. Thank you, teacher. I'm waiting for the other ones. Marcos, are you sure? Hmm. I'm looking at the same problems all over again. No, me. <laughs> uh, he's a wrong okay. uh, request. Okay, okay, okay. Did it resend it. Heidi, um, yes, but remember that we write the days of the week and the month with capital letter at the beginning. Okay, just remember that. Ay, 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 we're writing again, like in the Spanish. Hmm, this is a problem. Remember, capital letter at the beginning of days and at the beginning of months. 
I have people living in the future right now. Some people are living in the future. They are living in January 28th. January 28th is tomorrow, not today. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So you're writing the date again, like we do it in Spanish. In Spanish, we say 27 de enero. But in English, we don't say 27 first. So in English, if I want to say the day, I'm going to go with the day first. So for example, today is Thursday, right? Thursday. Then after the day, what do I write? Tell me. The month. The month. The month with capital letter at the beginning. After I write the, I write the month, what do I write next? Year. Yeah. The year after the month. Oh. oh. So the day. The oh. date. The uh, so date. So. For example, the date today is 27th. 27th. Okay. And then, then we have 26. 26 was yesterday. <laughs> no, you're living in the past now. And at the end, we write the year. So for example, 2022 or 2022. We did that again. We're going to do it again. Remember, it's not the same like in Spanish. So Thursday is the day. Then with capital letter, no lowercase, no. Capital letter, capital letter, the month, then obviously the date and at the end the year so this is the correct way i hope 2021 you're i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm living in the past way in the past so thursday january 27th 2022 okay yes that clear yes me yes, me. yes teacher yes Thank yes, you, students. It. Uh huh. Perfect. That's what I like. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Now, yes, we have the date here. That is Thursday, January twenty seventh. Remember to do that. Twenty seventh. It's not twenty seven. It's twenty seventh. Twenty seventh. Thursday, January twenty seventh, two thousand twenty two. Okay. Can you help me reading the topic? Eh, we're not going to see this topic, but yes, let's read it. Can you help me reading the topic, please? Let's see, let's see, let's see. <sighs> Heidi. Okay, teacher. 3.10 indirect, indirect risk introduced by, by if or whether. Whether. Okay. Whether. Repeat this word right now here, like in... Uh, indirect. Indirect. Okay, thank uh, you. Indirect. 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 Okay. Request. Introduced by if or whether. Thank you very much. So right thank now, you. okay, we're gonna do this. Cut, cut your tongue. This is an idiom. Remember, piece of cake. What was the meaning of piece of cake? Pan comido in Spanish? Exactly, like something that is really easy, right? And now we're gonna go with another idiom that is cut, cut your tongue, but like a question, like a question. It's like a question, like a question. Cut, cut your tongue. What do you think is the meaning of cut, cut your tongue? Teacher, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. It's something like a, eh, te comió la lengua el ratón, algo así. That <laughs> is exactly sure. what it means. Okay, that is exactly what it means. Sometimes idioms in English have an equi equivalent in Spanish. So for example, piece of cake in Spanish will be pan comido. And cat got your tongue in Spanish will be te comió la lengua el ratón. But in this case is the cat got your tongue. Okay, 
So when you see a person, uh, and I'm going to use this one with you guys. Sometimes I'm like, did you understand? And you're like, I'm going to say, hey, guys, cut, cut your tongue. I'm going to use that one with you. Okay. So cut, cut your tongue means you don't have anything to say. Why are you quiet now? Why don't you speak? Remember, when we use idioms, it's better because you sound, you sound more natural when speaking, okay? It's different than saying, teacher, this is very easy, very, 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 very easy, teacher. Instead of saying that, say, teacher, piece of cake. But your classmate or someone is not speaking and you say, hey, why are you quiet? No, it's better if you say, hey, God got your tongue. I'm gonna send you a video I cannot play videos for you here in the main session because of YouTube, YouTube copyright. And you know, I cannot do that. So I'm gonna send it here to the chat. I'm gonna send you a video, YouTube video, where they show you when people use idioms in the movies. For example, when you're watching a movie or a series or anything in English, which I hope you do, because you're learning English, you're gonna watch these people saying things like that. Okay, so just to remind Julio, you are in a computer, Marcos, you're in a computer, right? Yes, miss. Okay, so we're gonna do just two breaker sure. rooms. And you're gonna share, you're gonna share the video, okay, guys? Share the audio as well. And try to identify when they say the tongue twist, when they say, try to identify when they say the idiom, okay? You're gonna watch different movie scenes and I want you to be paying attention when they say the idiom. Do you get it? Yes, teacher. If you didn't hear the idiom say, hey, I didn't hear, I didn't listen to it. And you repeat that part. And then the other person, Julio or Marcos, is going to repeat that part. Okay, let's go. Ya les envié los invites. William, did you get the invite? William, can you hear me?
Hello, welcome back. Why didn't you want to come to the class? Nobody wanted to come, just Jose. And the other ones, were you speaking about the video or were you watching the video or what happened? They're watching the video, teacher. Ah, okay, 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 okay. And then did you hear when they say the tongue twister? I mean the tongue, some keep saying tongue twister is not tongue twister, I'm sorry. Did you hear when they say the idiom? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, perfect. And did you hear in all the movies? Yes, teacher, different movies. Yeah. So, very good movies. Yeah, some of them are very good. So, the the thing accent, is, teacher. The accent is different? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. And they speak, they speak awesome. really accent. And they speak really fast. Did you see that? that so, so when they are speaking in English, it's like when we're speaking in Spanish and we're trying to tell a story. Or like cuando alguien se emociona contando un chambre y que fíjate que la, 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 ni les alcance el aire, right? So the same is in English. They speak really fast. So what you have to do is try to keep up with what they are saying. And eventually you're going to get it. It's difficult, but it's not impossible. Okay. So now remember when you see a person and they are not speaking and you're asking things, you can say, hey, God got your tongue. And you know the meaning now. Okay. Now let's go here to the platform. Let me see with the platform. We're gonna do the review of the midterm, okay? So we're gonna, I'm gonna be asking you, hey, what do you write here? And what is the answer for this question? And you're gonna be telling me the answers, but sometimes I'm gonna ask you, but why is that the answer? Okay, so let me share my compute, I mean, my screen. And we're gonna do this. Here. Okay. So the same thing, if you did it already, you know the answers and you're gonna tell me the answers. Okay, this is just a review of the midterm. It says here in the instructions. Can you help me read in the instructions, please? Max. Tell me teacher. Can you read this please? Okay. Uh, listening bookmark this place or one? No, 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 this, this. The, this is that in blue, okay. in blue, in blue. Okay, now teacher, sorry. Listen to the conversation, check the correct answer. Thank you very much, Max. Yes, Thank so you for sorry. we're gonna listen to the conversation and then we're gonna check the answers. If you did this already, just pay attention to it. And when I ask you, for example, I'm gonna ask, I don't know, tell me the answer for this, Gabriela, and Gabriela is gonna tell me the answer. Okay, let's go. Can you hear it? No, teacher. No, se escucha? No. 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 What, it, it should. Uh, Miss, I turned my screen. But I have, I have no. Units what? Now? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Let's, go. Let's go. Units one to two quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Bill. Hey, I haven't seen you since you went off to art school. How do you like it? School's great. I have this fantastic painting teacher, Mr. Parks, who is so cool. What do you like about him? Well, he's the kind of teacher who is completely honest in his opinion of our work. And when he criticizes us, he always includes some helpful advice. He sounds like a great teacher. 
two. What's wrong? But I think we're going to be answering with this. So one says two, three, yeah, one per, per conversation. One is completely honest and gives helpful advice. Okay, let's see, Marcos, what is the answer? Mr. Park. Sir Parks. Okay, let's see. We're going to see. Let's go with the next one. ¿Quién está dibujando en la pantalla? Oh, my goodness. You're drawing on my screen. Wrong, Shelly. Well, Martin, I sent a close friend a birthday present two months ago, and she's never thanked me for it. She lives in Germany now, but she should have already received my present. Oh, she probably just hasn't had a chance to write you yet. Hmm. You know, it bothers me, too, when people forget to say thank you. Maybe there's a good reason why she forgot. Why don't you just email her and find out? Why didn't I think of that? I'll do it tonight. Okay, so... What it bothers Shelly and Martin when people... Adriana? Uh, forget to say thank you. Excellent. Let's see, next one. Three. Paula, did you find a job for the summer yet? Actually, I found a couple of... What happened to the duo? Wait a second. I want to play it again. Hey, guys. ¿Quién más tiene tigo? Bueno, ¿quién tiene tigo en su casa? Y usted está con ese internet, Julio. Right. Ay, ¿Está tigo. perfecto, Menta? Perfectly. Oh, ok. Es que dicen que está ahorita fallando. Es que es, es problema desde cierto. temprano, mis. Ah. Sí. Igual, mm. cuando, incluso cuando yo anduve en San Miguel, me falló bastante el internet. Oh. Es que así están diciendo que hay algunos maestros que ahorita no se pueden conectar porque Tigo está fallando. Pero bueno, no es el caso de nosotros. Continúa. Okay. So, and she's not Email her and find out. Now, go. Yeah, you can hear, right? Think of that. I'll do it tonight. <laughs> Three. Paula, did you find a job for the summer yet? Actually, I found a couple of them, Billy. I just have to decide which one to take. My uncle owns a summer camp, and he said I could spend the summer working as a lifeguard for him. And what's the other one? Well, working as an extra in a new movie. No, you're kidding. It's true. I have a friend who knows the director. I'd really love to be in a movie. So would I. Could I go to the audition too? <laughs> Conveniente. Ok, Billy and Paula will love being what? Tell me, ba, 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 José Manuel. An extra in a movie. An extra in a movie. Yes. Would you like to be that, guys? Would you like to be a, an extra in a movie? Yes, no? Cut, cut your tongue. <laughs> yes, sure. Okay, yeah. I think it's fun because you're going to get paid just to be an extra in a movie. Yeah, it's, that's fun. Okay, let's hear the last one. Four. Morning, Caroline. What are you doing? I'm looking for a part-time job for winter break. Anything interesting in the paper? Yeah, one sounds pretty good. They're looking for a ski instructor during December. Hey! You're an excellent teacher. You taught me how to ski. Well, yes, but here's another job. It's for a sales clerk position in the ski shop. Oh, but that isn't as interesting and fun. You're right. And the instructor's job is better paid than the sales job. So it's a no-brainer. Guys, did you hear the last word she said? It's a no-brainer? So what do you think it means? It's a no-brainer. No, you don't you don't have an idea? No, really no. Okay, so no brainer. Brain is this, right? This is my brain, the thing that is inside. 
no brainer, it means that I don't have to think about that a lot. It's easy to decide. So it's a no brainer. So you want to go to the Pollo Campestre or do you want to go to Pizza Hut? Uh, okay, so la pizza me hace daño. Ah, uh, okay, so it's a no brainer. Ya no hay que pensarlo. It's the pollo, right? Did you get it? Yeah, so based on that, we're going to do the answer. And the answer is Caroline wants to apply for the... Gabriela, help me. Uh, sky instructor position. Ski. Ski. Yes. Remember when we have a word that starts with the letter S, we just say S and then the rest of the word. Ski. Don't say ski. It's ski. Let's go and see if we have them right. Yeah. Good job. Good job, guys. You did a good job. Perfect, let's go here. Choose the correct word. Okay, help me here. I'd prefer a boss who I can do my best for her. Help me with the answer. Milton. I prefer an um, organized boss. Okay, organized. Repeat with me. Organized. Oh, I can do my best for her. Organized. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's go with the number two. Help me there, Julio. Okay. Party is a person who never browse about her race. And what do you, what means brag? Presumir. So she never brags about her grades. Oh, so I think the answer is mother. Okay, thank you very much. You're Let's welcome. go now with so we have just a few students today. So Miguel, number three. Our coach can stand. Considerate. Do you think that's the answer? Our coach can stand. Can stand. When we say can stand, I told you the meaning. What is the meaning of can stand? Can stand. What is can stand? I told you the meaning a couple of days ago. Do you guys remember? So I can stand. No soporto. Exactly. No soporto. Okay, no so okay. coach can stand. No soporta. Egoistic. Ego. Egotistical. Yeah. Egotistical. Yes. Sure. Okay. So, sure. let's see. Four. I don't want to work with a difficult person. This person is. Let's see, Max. Thank you, teacher. The second one option: unreliable. Unreliable. Reliable. Thank you. Unreliable. unreliable. Thank you, Max. Okay. Let's see your answers, guys. Correct. Good job. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. It's here. Put the words in the in order. Okay, I'm guessing that you did this already. I'm guessing you did this already. So what is the correct order of number one, Marcos? Are you ready on the, on the request? No, order the words, put them in order. Oh, okay. Um, I, I 
don't forget. No. Mm. no, no, I don't mean forget. No, <laughs> I don't mean. Did you do this exercise already? No. Ah, okay. So who completed this already? When I forget my name, I don't mind. Mm. When... I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind. Ah. It's, okay. I don't mind. I don't mind what? It. Ah. When... I forget when someone I don't mind it when someone don't don't mind, my name. when someone forget name my name forget it my name for forget someone forget it my name like that okay let's check yeah teacher yeah it's correct sure. I don't mind it when someone forgets my name. Yes, it's correct. Hello? No. No, no, teacher. Okay. I don't say the word it in the first one. And it ah, was okay. correct thank for you? you? Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank you. Yeah. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. It's okay. So when late can appointments for it, I people stand are. So obviously I... <clears throat> Sorry for el gallito. <laughs> so I is the subject. So obviously I is going to be at the beginning. I what? Can. Mm -hmm. I can stand. Can't stand. It. When. It. People. It. When. Can. Uh -huh. How when people? When people. <clears throat> when people are late appointment. Are late appointments? For appointment. For, for appointment. appointment. For appointment. Okay. So here, ba -ba 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 -ba, what's going to be the subject? What do you think is the subject? It's it. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, no. it. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> what is the verb? Make. 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 Remember, it's a person. So it makes a long me. Make. It makes me happy. Along. Then we're going to join the sentences with what? Remember. What are we going to use to join the sentences? Uh, relative clause. No, when? When, correct. When. Okay. It makes me happy when? When. When. Aha! Uh -huh. So what I'm looking right now is that you haven't when? completed this. When? When to take. When to take. Mm -hmm. To take, to take lunch. Mm, no, 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 no. Allá vamos partiendo. Vale, le voy a decir en español when, rápido. Recuerden que. When, when. When take. No, recuerden. Antes lunch. de la oración, antes de la primera oración tiene sujeto, verbo y complemento. Después del when, when viene take. otra oración que uh -huh. necesita sujeto, verbo y complemento. Vamos a identificar cuál sería el sujeto, the subject of the second statement. A friend, teacher. A friend, a friend, correct. When a friend takes me out. Takes me out. What it means takes me out? Fuera. Me saca a pasear. Me saca a pasear. Oh, it's incorrect. Mm, what is the problem here? What do you think is the problem? Mm. It makes me happy point. when a friend takes me out. Maybe the point. 
I'm not sure. We're gonna check. It makes me happy when a friend takes me out. Oh, guys, we're forgetting something. Ah, my goodness. Wait, wait. When a friend takes me out, but we're still missing some words. Look here. He look. We're, we, we didn't write this. Yeah, to lunch. <laughs> yeah, to lunch. Yeah. What is lunch? Almorzar. Almorzar. Almorzar in this case. Okay. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Is the, the number two? Not complete my exercise. I'm sorry. And you the didn't... people? And the people? No, uh, I can't stand it. Yes. Uh -huh. When people are late for appointments. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, wait a second. Just a few students that I have today, my goodness. Okay, let's continue. Miss, uh -huh. I have a problem with the second exercise. Uh huh. What is the problem? So do I. Uh, I can stand, I can stand it when people uh, it are late for appointment, are late. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Can you see it? Mm. It's there in the chat. I send it to the chat. Can you see it? I can't stand. Yeah, I, I can't stand. I can't stand it when people are are like okay let's continue gerund phrases gerund phrases seems exciting i've been interested in design so remember gerund phrases are the ones that start with i i mean the they end with ing so writing a gossip column seems exciting Working as an architect seems exciting or retiring at age 50 seems exciting. What do you think is the correct option? Si yo siempre he estado interesado en el diseño, la de respuesta más lógica, ¿cuál sería? Working as an architect. Architect, architect. Architect. Okay. Cheryl wouldn't like for the school paper. She doesn't really care about campus politics or social activities. Remember in this sentence, you're gonna mm. find the answer. So Cheryl wouldn't like writing a gossip column. Okay, what is gossip guys? What is gossip? What is the meaning of gossip? Achievement. Correct. You've saved 25% of your salary all your life. Now it is time to have some fun. Sounds fantastic. You deserve it. A score. Retiring at age 50. 50, yes. Retiring. Uno empezando a trabajar y ya pensando, qué bonito será retirarse, ¿verdad? That will be fun to do. Ok, let's continue. Y aquí en El Salvador creo que es 55. I think it's 55 for women and 60 for men. Or what? 55 for women. Uh, women. 50, sí. Women. 50, 60 for the men. 60 for men. 60 for men. 60 for men, yeah. Oh, men. ok, ok, ok. Let's continue here. An aerobics instructor probably earns a tennis coach. Oh, okay. So we're get, we're talking about comparisons. Remember the comparisons we were doing. Okay. So an aerobic instructor probably earns. What is earn? Ganar. 
exactly. Ganar but this of money. money. No win, no like win, I win. Don't say I win money. Porque tú sabes cómo ganarlo de, de otro aspecto. I win money, no. I earn, o sea, me lo gano con el sudor de esta frente. I earn money. So okay. Win is something like a sport, teacher. Win is something like a sport, yeah. Or a competition. 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 Okay, someone else had a question? As much as. As, as, as much as. As much as. as, much as. A web designer has an international TV journalist. A web designer has a better art than an international TV journalist. Correct, because the international TV journalists, oh my goodness, they have to work at any time. Si hay noticia, you have to work. I remember, okay. the, uh, I remember Moises Rubina. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't matter if you were sleeping, maybe you, you were sleeping, but yeah, you have to go to work because their news are there. Fee Physiatrics, physiatrics, yeah, are often politician. Very educated, very educated than politicians. How do you say what? Physiatrics, 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 physiatrics. You think they are better educated than politicians? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Working as a comedian is being a movie actor. Is less interesting that interesting than interesting. Remember, this is interesting. Interesting. Yes, interesting. Than. Perfect. Let's go here. Okay, it says, read the newspaper article, then check three truth statements. Okay, now I'm going to read this just for you to Thank listen. And oh, yeah, what? Sorry, can you back to the... Can I, can I, can I go back? Please. Okay. I, lost the con I lost the connection for a second. Can you up a little, please? In the okay. first one? So you are still yes. in the first one? Yes, I, I lost the connection. Yeah, you see, Tigo is having problems. I think. Teacher, I have a question about a word. Mm -hmm. uh, what is, I don't know how to use the word gain is similar to win and earn, mm -hmm. but the word gain, I don't know how to use it. I think it is the same like ganar. Yeah, but in this case, gain, for example, when you are slim and then you're fat, you're gonna say, I gain some pounds. Gané libritas, pero de peso. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, are you all ready? Okay, perfect. Let's go. Oops, sorry. Here. So I'm going to read these guys. Just wait a second. I'm going to read this and then I'm going to ask you to help me read it. The ups and downs. Just listen for pronunciation in this moment, okay? Just listen for pronunciation. I'm going to mute you all. Let's go. The ups and downs of being a pilot. Have you ever thought about being an air 
flying pilot? Being a pilot is challenging and exciting. However, some aspects of a pilot's job can be boring and pilots often have inconvenient hours. A pilot's work begins long before the plane thinks, takes off, two or three hours before a flight. The pilot and the flight dispatcher meet. They plan the exact road, route, not the exact route the aircraft will take. Using information about weather, number of passengers and cargo. The pilot also helps check the plane for technical or medical problems, mechanical problems, I'm sorry, technical or mechanical problems. Pilots often say that the worst thing about flying is sitting in the, air, in the cockpit, cockpit, which is very cramped. Once the plane is in the air, the pilot usually puts the controls on autopilot. And on very long flights, a pilot may take a break for a few hours, leaving the co-pilot to fly the aircraft. A pilot must be intelligent, calm under pressure, and in excellent health. The life of the crew and passengers depends on a pilot's skills and control. Okay, Adriana, you're gonna read the first part. Okay, sure. Uh, from the beginning, I mean the title or just the paragraph? Just the paragraph. Okay. Have you ever thought about being an airplane, airline a pilot? Being a pilot is challenging and exciting. However, some aspects of a pilot's job can be boring, and pilots often have inconvenient hours. Thank you very much. Um, Moises. Moises, Moises. Digo, quería decir Moises, pero porque como me dijo Moises Urbina, así me quedé pensando en él. Marcos. Uh. The paragraph on aquí, oh, from, from here to here. A pilot work begins long before the planet take off, two or three hours before a flight. The pilot and the flight is much for me. They plan the exact route uh, aircraft will take using information about where number of passengers and cargo. Passengers. Passengers. Okay. Miguel, hasta aquí. The pilot has helps check also the plane. Also helps. Auto helps check the plane for technical or mechanical problems. Pilot often say that the work time out flying is sitting in the cockpit, which is very cramped. Cramped. Okay, Julio. Okay. Once the plane is in the air, the pilot usually put the control on autopilot and on very long flight. The pilot may take a break for a few hours, leaving the co-pilot to fly the aircraft. Thank you very much, Julio. Let's go with Jose Manuel. A pilot, the day teacher. Yeah, from here to here. Okay. A pilot must be intelligent, called under pressure, and in excellent health. The life of the crew and passenger depend on a pilot. A skill, a skill, and control. Thank you very much. Now let's do this one. What, remember, we're going to do the activity is check three true statements. Three true statements. So it says here, not all aspects of a pilot's job are interesting. True or false? 
no todos True los aspectos teacher. del día. True. The flight dispatcher main job is to help fly the plane. All. Okay. Is not the pilot's job to check for mechanical problems on the plane? False. False. One of the worst things for the pilot is the lack of space in the cockpit. cockpit. True. One, once the plane is in the air, the co-pilot has nothing to do? False. 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 The pilot is, is responsible for everybody's life on board. True. True. Let's see if it is true. Yes, good job. Okay, guys. So it means, well, I we were doing this here in the class, and I suppose that you have finished section one, section two, section three, and the midterm. Yes, everybody has to complete that by today. So tomorrow you need to be done with that because next week we're going to work on section four and next week we're going to work on section five and the final exam okay 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 guys okay, so doctor. that will be it for today and i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow i no, no, no. Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. 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 Monday,